G'day, this is Jace, and after taking some time off, I felt it was time to get back to making a Tesla video. In this one, I use all my spare phones to see how loud or quiet the Model 3 is while doing everyday things. So I just came back from visiting Melbourne, and while there, a mate of mine took me for a ride in his Model 3 performance. He complained of rattling noises coming from the cabin, which made me think of how loud a Tesla is in reality when driving and doing everyday things. My hope from the results of this experiment was a comfortable noise level between 20 and 40 decibels, which is the noise of an average room or office. I don't expect to go far in the orange harmful zone, although 85 to 90 is okay for short drives and not damaging to the eardrums. I wouldn't want to be above that. This is by no means completely scientific. I mean, I'm using painter's tape to hold the phones down. But I did calibrate the phones as close as possible before recording using a generic free app called SoundMeter. This experiment was more about finding out what potentially makes the loudest and quietest sounds in the Tesla. I take you through a lunchtime cruise and a Christmas shopping drive to Karanup Shopping Centre. Watch on to see the results. First I wanted to check the base decibel level so I could compare and see the increase in noise level. It came to 33 decibels inside the cabin, which is equivalent to a whisper, and 41 decibels in the boot or trunk, equivalent to a quiet library. On my lunchtime cruise, I thought it would be fun to legally hoon around within the speed limits to test how loud the car is when launching. It makes the iconic whirring sound, but at the end of the day, it adds just less than 30 decibels over the bass level, making it as loud as a conversation, much softer than those loud combustion engine cars. Next up, seeing as it was such a warm day and I did that hooning in the hot sun, I wanted to crank the AC as high as it would go. I cranked it to 10 and it got to 65 decibels in the cabin, about the same as accelerating. It was about 5 decibels softer when stationary. Turning it off with passing traffic meant it dropped to 44 decibels, back to library status. So my version of the Model 3, the rear wheel drive, came with what was called premium speakers. I could only find 8 active speakers when music was playing and no subwoofer. 4 on the dash, 2 on the front doors and 2 on the rear doors. I found that I needed to tweak the equalizer settings in order for the sound to be balanced and have a fuller bass. These are the settings I used for the tests. Twenty-five percent is my usual listening volume. It was the equivalent to a busy traffic noise. I cranked the music to seventy-five percent. One hundred percent was way too loud and probably only good if you were looking to show off. Seventy-five percent went up to around eighty decibels inside the cabin. That's already too much for my aging ears. Apparently this level of decibel is the equivalent of inside an aeroplane. Just to prove that the calibration was still correct, I tested passing traffic again and got the same exact result as before, 44 decibels in cabin. This is where the phone on the passenger seat, the Pixel 7 Pro, decided it would stop recording. I couldn't find a setting to make it continue past 15 minutes. The Pixel 3a and S20 Ultra plowed right on through and recorded over 40 minutes of screen time each without skipping a beat. There was a bit of traffic going home, and Tesla just loves traffic. Only 41 decibels. The next day was 37 degrees Celsius, and I did half the recording without aircon. First up was speed bumps. Noise jumped to around 67 decibels in cabin, and a surprising 75 in the boot when driving over them. There's the stereotypical Perth driver we know and love. 
I have Joe mode turned on so the beeps are softer and the needles didn't move at all. Time to give the freeway on ramp a go. Before I started I predicted this to be the same level as the speakers. But wow I was wrong. 65 decibels inside the cabin is practically silent for 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration. Adding AC at level 5 added 7 decibels and then AC at level 10 added a further 4 on top of that. The Pixel 7 Pro stopped recording again just as I was getting to Karanup Shopping Centre to do some Christmas shopping. This is one of only four places in Western Australia that have a supercharger and the only one that is central to Perth. I've never had to use it as I still survive using the universal mobile charger at home using power from my solar panels. Apparently it's in section B2 near the valet and there's six bays. It's home time after filling up the boot with presents and the heat increased to 38 degrees which is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The battery hasn't depleted much which is great. When I went to Melbourne for two weeks, the battery only depleted 2% with sentry mode turned off while parked at home. That is quite impressive. One last turn, and look what we have here. Cops with a mobile speed camera. Luckily I honed within the road laws. One last test was large truck passing and it came to about 58 decibels which is only about 25 decibels over the base level inside the cabin. What's a shopping trip without driving past the Tesla showroom? It doesn't look like there are many people in there today, but I saw a couple of demo Model Ys parked. So the results are in. So remembering that the base level was 33 decibels while parked on a quiet street, the loudest sounds were number one, the speakers at 75% volume, which was 47 decibels above the bass. Number two, the AC at level 10, which was 39 decibels over bass. Number three, the accelerating and speed bumps were about the same at 37 decibels above bass. And the quietest sound? This was surprising to me. It was driving in slow traffic. Even the outside noise didn't make its way into the boot too much and only added 8 decibels to the bass. This was a fun video to record as I was getting used to some new camera gear I just got. A bit disappointing about the Pixel 7 Pro on the passenger seat, stopping its recording short on each drive, but surely it's not user error is it? If it is, be sure to roast me in the comments below, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Power out.